Hello, my hearties, dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And, uh, of course, a very warm welcome to every single one of you. If you've just joined us, then I'm Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. A random pop-up for you just to say hi and to see who's about. So there you are. There's the wonderful Stephen Mulgrew and John Hepburn. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue's random pop-up, Tony Mack. Welcome to you, of course. Good evening. Wonderful Gordon Roddy. Good evening, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. The lovely Susan Forrest down in Lancashire there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you. And of course, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live. Stuart McKenna, Peter Connolly, Rod Hardesty, great to have you with us, of course, and welcome, welcome, welcome. A lot of us go back a very long way indeed. How fantastic is that? Thumbs up to you, as I say, there's Andy McCrory. Good evening, Scotty. Good to see you. Hope you're well, says Stephen. Bachetti Giuseppe is watching. Jeremy Wilson and Robert Abercrombie. Welcome, 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 I say. Scotty McClue, the one-stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with a quick pop-up just for you to say dinky do. Um, I'm a little bit later than I had planned tonight because I've started doing pop-ups on YouTube Live on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. You'll probably see some of them coming round there. You are www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. So uh, you can get on there and you can view the YouTube pop-up and you can, can subscribe to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and share the stream, please. So there you are. It would be much appreciated. Robert Abercrombie says, I hope you're well. I am Robert and you, Dinky do. The wonderful Charles McLaughlin. So there you are. Omnipotent and omnipresent. How fantastic. There you go, Charles. And you joined me on the YouTube tonight. Incredible. Just a quick half hour. Joyce Wood's watching. Welcome, Joyce. Nice to have you with us. And Dinky Do from me, Scotty McClue. Can you all share and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 so that we've got you on there? Fantastic. I'm just uh, sending stuff round here and we'll do a little bit of sharing as well. You can't beat it, can you? Excellent stuff. There's the whole thing relies on a share, share, share all the time. Now, tonight I'd like to talk to you about the bridge that is being mooted between Scotland and Ireland. So there you are on Northern Ireland. Nice to see you, Scotty. How the devil are you, says Peter Connolly? Very well, Peter. And thank you very much for all your wonderful support on here. And a very, very, very tough afternoon with some dafties on about Brexit. I've gone on um, leave campaign thing and explain to them where they were going wrong and for some strange reason they didn't seem to appreciate that so there we are very very interesting you cheer us up scotty have a wee dram says robert why not robert what's the problem with that i say so there you are. i don't anymore but i have in the past um experienced a wee dram so there you go <laughs> Make your eyes spin round. Uh, lovely to have you all with us, of course, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, um, I've had to be careful on YouTube because one or two dafties, but I do have the trusty Skype with me. If somebody would like to, you know, a trusted person would like to call in and uh, discuss the bridge set up with me. So there you are. Not a problem. We would like that. And I shall just see everything's working there. Yes, it should be. Um, so if a trusted person, because as I say, we had one or two wee dafties on, as you always get, same when we started Scott FM, it uh, brought on one or two dafties, but they soon got the message, I say. Uh, this is not for the faint-hearted. They understood that. And away we went. How marvellous is that? Now, I'm just going to check. There we are there, yes. So I can share you, you see. I can send a big share. And if you can all do the same. Uh, he's off his rocker. 
building uh, that's like building London cable cars. They're WW2 bombs there, all sorts of ideas. Well, Chris, I mean, we'll have to see. I think it might be cheaper to drain the North Sea, not the North Sea, I beg your pardon, drain the Irish Sea and um, build a road across there if we want to. But, I mean, there's something very romantic about Ireland being an island. Do we want to join up? Do the Irish people want the UK joined onto them like that? Northern Ireland, I can't see a problem because they're part of the UK at the moment, pro tem. But that could all change, of course. There's Lisa Tarras, Dinky Do, and Ian Whitelaw. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Just going to do a bit of sharing, folks. Let everybody know we're there. Share to the Scotty McClue pages. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that would be brilliant. There's a wonderful John Gallagher. Excellent stuff. And um, where else am I sharing here, guys? Uh, there we go. Another wee share. And we'll share to the Scotty McClue page. John Gallagher, Dinky Doo, Malcolm Hutchinson. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight we're discussing the possibility of a bridge between Scotland and Ireland. Tell us what you think about it. And if you're trusted, I have the trusty Skype here. And we can even take a call and discuss it. That would be brilliant. Fantastic stuff. Now, what am I doing here? Uh, sharing to a page. Yes, we're sharing to pages. Excellent stuff. Just letting everybody know. Live now is the big one. When you're sharing, just put live now. Fantastic. We'll get everybody on there. Wonderful, wonderful. Scotty McClure. Got that there. Is Boris going to consult the people of Scotland and Northern Ireland on the new bridge, says Tony Mack. We don't know. Build a bridge to Ireland. We can't even build a decent bridge over the fourth one. Is knackered after 50 years, and we built a new one, which closes down at the first bit of cold weather. Yeah, but they might be able to sort that out, I think, to be honest. Live now. So here we got... Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone. Hello, Scotty. Uh, hello, Dinky Doo. Is that John? Yes, it is, John Boy. Lovely to have you with us, John Boy. How's things with you? Can everybody hear John? Speak. I'm all right, matey. There we are. We're all right, John. Good to hear you. Excellent idea to call in. Any ideas how, about the bridge? How are you? I'm very well. I'm better for hearing you, and I like the idea that we've got some live calls on the show. That's true. That's true. There's somebody asking, what do you think of this bridge of Boris's? <laughs> um, I think it'll be crazy. Yes. Bananas. Because get out the island. Think about getting out the, the water. Aha. Uh -huh. What happens if the bridge collapses? Absolutely. It's not for the faint hearted, John. With the weight of the traffic. Now you're talking. What do you do out in the middle of the Irish Sea? Get buckled. <laughs> John, thank you for that. Listen, lovely talking to you. <laughs> and think you do. <laughs> what a top man. Fantastic. So there you go. Lovely. A call from John there, John Yalachar, and giving his opinion on a bridge going over to Ireland. This is terrible, says Steve Milton. What says this is terrible? What's Stephen Milton saying this is terrible about? So there we are, David Hammond, Dinky Doo, Drew McKenzie, Tommy Jordan asks, would you have to pay to go over the bridge? So there we are, ah, now that's the thing, would you have to pay to go over the bridge? Just sharing, folks, and uh, if you can do the same, that is fantastic. And uh, did you see me on question time on Thursday night asking if the panel thought Boris was doing an impression of tripe, uh, of Trump? Sorry, a bit. 
Whoops. <laughs> Are we you slip there? Impression, impression of Trump. Wonderful stuff. Excellent, Mike. Good idea there. We like that. Uh, Louise Gamble, Dinky Doo, Gordon Sterling's watching. How are you, Gordon? I believe you've been at the bosses again. Are you the coach? Ha! <laughs> See what I just did there? Are you the coach? There are Gordon Sterling, a man that can tell you everything about bosses. Gordon Sterling asks, which night is this? This is Sunday night, Gordon. Capital S, small U, small N, small D, small A, small Y, Sunday nights. Excellent. So there you go. Have you got that, Gordon? No problem at all. And Matron will help. She will fill in the blanks, as they say. Wonderful stuff. Oh, happy anniversary, by the way. Michael Collar, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Now, I'm just doing a bit of sharing. So if you guys are up for a bit of sharing, feel free to do so. And uh, let everybody know that Scotty McClure has popped up live. So there we had a slightly strange one there. A guy going... This is terrible. What does he? What was he talking about? Was he talking about the weather or whatever he was talking about? We don't know. Share in a group. Share to a page. Share. There we are. Just uh, keeping that up to date. Wonderful stuff. And uh, I hope you're enjoying the pop-ups now. Just to let you know, you can get yourself on to. YouTube. You can also see pop-ups there. Peter Lockwood says, hi, nice show. Good to see you, Peter, and welcome. Lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky-doo. James Slack's watching. Hi, James. Welcome, 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 I say. There we go. And uh, we're sharing on the old... Uh, oh, there's so many places to share. That's what we're getting. See something about it? I shall just say that we are live. Excellent stuff. Right, so there we go. So many places to share. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's it. Wonderful. Uh, what if the Irish Republic says no to the bridge? They will be forced to have it on their back door, which would mean border controls. Well, remember there was supposed to be a border down the middle of the Irish Sea. So I don't know if you put a checkpoint halfway so there you are. Hi, I don't know you well, but I think you're brilliant. I'm from Edinburgh, says Craig Walker. Welcome, Craig. Nothing wrong with coming from Edinburgh. We like Edinburgh. And uh, you don't know me well, but you will get to know me. I am the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. What about the Labour leadership candidate? Who's the best candidate? Asks Tommy Jordan. Darren Morrison's watching. Tommy, I was thinking, why don't they just leave Jeremy in? You know, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what they say. And why not just leave Jeremy in? That's what I was thinking. You know, I don't think that would do any harm, would it? So there we go. Um, I'm just going to say that we are live now. Live now, L-I-V-E-N-O-W, not difficult, not rocket science. And what group are we posting this to? So there we go. So uh, why don't we just leave Jeremy in as the Labour leader? He's the most popular leader, he's the most popular Labour leader ever, as far as I understand it. I'm not sure there was one who was any more popular, um, but there we are. So what about that? And of course, uh, mind you, I don't know how popular Gates skill would have been if he'd stayed with us. You know, these guys that died quite young, um, Gates skill, I think, was, which was Gates skill? Was he 56 or something like that? Was he as much as that? Hugh Gates skill. And um, he was very, very popular. And the other one was um, the, the, the Tory guy, Ian McLeod. He was only in his 50s as well. So there you go. Laurie Cathola, dinky do, Calvin Allen. Welcome, 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 I say. Can everybody share? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Let me know when you've shared, of course, because that's what it's all about. So there you are. I don't know if I told you I had an obsession with the hokey cokey. And I went to the doctor and he said, no, I will have to get your specialist help. So he sent me down to a clinic and I put myself in and then I took myself out and I turned myself around 
And that's what it's all about, really. So there you go. So can you help me with a GoFundMe page so I can hire the best divorce lawyers? This is God stilling what's he like. John Laurie's watching Dinky Doola. Lovely to have you with us. And Paul Crookshank, Stinky Doo Paul, good to have you with us as well. I'm just going to share this, guys, to a little bit of a group. But um, so much to share with you. I'll tell you all about in a minute. Um, El Salvador, he's too old. Well, Michael Foote was a fair age, uh, you know, uh, he, he was a fair age. We need someone younger. John Smith would have been the boy for Labour again. Another great that died young. What was John Smith? Was he 57 or something like that? Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. My mother taught him. Uh, so there we are. My mother taught John Smith. Um, wonderful. I was brought up in Dumbarton, and I remember as a child the Erskine Bridge opening. Then in 1995, the oil rig hit it. So we can't get the tides right on a river. How are we going to work it out in R? Ah, see more. Hope I don't lose the broadcast. There we are. I'll try this. How are we going to work it out in a sea? Yes, absolutely, in a massive sea. So uh, what am I doing here? Facebook, Facebook, live, right, just getting everything sorted here, guys, and um, excellent, doing a little bit of sharing, and uh, I'll just pop that up, there we go, that's being shared, marvellous, 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 you're quite right, I remember the Asking Bridge, now when did the Asking Bridge open, was it 67, or was it 71, so there we are, something like that. Rings, uh, rings bell 67 or 71. Excellent stuff. Right, I'm just going to come out of that and uh, and come back here. Wonderful. There we are. Good stuff. And come out of that as well. Oh, it's a busy time on here, guys. This is not for the faint-hearted, by the way. Labour got destroyed in the election under Corbyn. Time to go, says Charles McLaughlin. Aha! But you see, I don't blame Mr Corbyn for that at all. I think the media really, really, really had a serious, very heavy smear campaign. So there we are. I wish Lord Snoop was still alive. He's probably the best person to run the country. Lord Snoop. Is that the one you mean? Or do you mean Lord Such? Screaming Lord Such. Jeremy Corbyn hasn't got another battle in him. He needs to step down. So there we are. Well, uh, Scotty McClure is not standing for the Labour leadership. All right? I'm not standing for the Labour leadership. Jonathan Darwin, dinky-doo, a very warm welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure popping up just for you, saying hi. Busy, busy, busy on here. I need to get assistance. If we keep building at this rate, I need to get some assistance in. Oh, my goodness me. This is crazy, crazy stuff. Wonderful. Right. And uh, who else have we got here? So, um, come on, Scott, do it, says El Salvador. No, I don't know that I'm really a Labour man, to be quite honest, because I think Tommy Jordan's shouting, please stand. You got my vote, says El Salvador. I might stand uh, so as maybe a list candidate. Um, you know, in the, in the next election or something like that, just to see how it goes. Because I can remember, I mean, this is going back a little while, but it was during the Glasgow by, there was a Glasgow by election. And I confided in a media friend that um, had been asked if I would stand. And um Five minutes later, a major newspaper rang, said, we believe you might be thinking you'd be coming an MP, Scotty. You know, would you do it? Would you let us have the exclusive if you decide to? All that. I said, well, we're just having a bit of fun. And uh, then they said to me, but Scotty, see if you do stand. Can you make sure you're serious about it? And I said, why do you say that? And they said, because there's a very, very good chance you'll get in. You know? So, I mean, you could have seen me running up and down the stairs of the closes, chatting the doors and uh, introducing myself, you know. So there you are. 
Uh, you've got my vote, Scotty McLean, says Paul Crickshanks. Andrew Clark's watching. Welcome, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. If you've all just joined us, you're watching Scotty McLean's random pop-up. And we are live on Facebook Live. That's a massive, massive platform. Now, can I just do a tiny bit of housekeeping, if you'll indulge me for a second or two? Um, can you set up Scotty McClure as a skill on your Alexa? So that we can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure. Stephen Menzies is watching, Dean you also, if you set it up as a skill on your Alexa, can you also store me in your routines? So store Scotty McClure in your Alexa routines. Very, very important. I'm going to do some more sharing here, guys. This is fantastic. We are big. Um, so there we are. So we're looking at that. Also, I'm on Instagram at Scotty McClure one and I would quite like one million followers. That's not too much to ask for the first lord of the internet. So there you are. Eddie, say hi from USA. So there we are. Tony Mack, there's only one remaining MP in Scotland to think Labour was started by Scotsman Keir Hardy. Clearly independence is the way forward for Scotland. Come on, Scotty, you're a Tory through and through, says Charles McLaughlin. Charles McLaughlin, wash out your mouth. There you are. Sean Gowdy, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. I was wondering if Scotland could do with another party. Now, this would be a pro-independence party, but a new party. So there you are. So you're not actually the SNP, but you are a new pro-independence party. Let's get indie done type thing. Kim Zachariah is watching. Good evening. Out to Elven Foot. Just heading back from Thornhill. A problem in the railway earlier. Oh, Stephen Menzies. How fantastic. You're such a top man. You've got my vote. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big round of applause? Hello, Scotty McClure, says Kareem Zachariah. A massive round of applause for the wonderful Stephen Menzies, who's out on a night like this, going between Thornhill and Elven Foot right down in the Scottish borders, about 50 miles out of Glasgow. And um, he's travelling around rurally to keep the railways running for us. Scotty, say hi from Lincolnshire, says Ross Perrins. Welcome, Ross Perrins, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you from Lincolnshire. I know it well. When I was living in Sheffield, I took um, a run to Skegness. And I went through every little bit. I went to Grantham, where Mrs. Thatcher was from. No, Charles McLaughlin, don't get any associated ideas here. Went to Grantham. I drove through Grantham. And I also passed RAF Cranwell, where all the RAF pilots trained, where Douglas Bader trained at RAF Cranwell. So there you are. Nikki Harvey winning, dinky-doo. What a top lady. Steve Tate, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure on the pop-up on Sunday evening. Nothing gets past me. Neil O'Gormley, dinky-doo. Andrew Boyle, welcome, welcome. Stephen Menzies is a top bloke, says Gordon Stilling. Wonderful. And uh, thank you for that, Gordon. Very much appreciated. I'm just going to do another wee share, guys, because it's too important not to. So there we are. And if you can all do the same, can we have another share, share, share it, share, share it, share it, share. It's uh, coming up quarter to ten. We have to finish at ten o'clock. In fact, it probably is a quarter to ten. I think that's a wee bit slow. Oh, no. It's twelve minutes to ten. Heavens above. I ask you. So there we are. Just doing another little bit of sharing. Scotty, is that picture on your left-hand side? It looks like the guy... So there we are, uh, from Glasgow. He was a legend. I think he used to do the night call. He was always drunk. Uh, I'm saying that you do that, Stephen Milton. Certainly not. So there we are. I have never, ever, ever been on air with a refreshment in me. And I can't say that for all the phone-ins up and down the country, I can assure you. So there we are. John Hanlon says, hello, hello, John Dinky-Doo. Paul McHugh is watching Dinky-Doo, Paul. Lovely to have you with us. And um, just doing a bit more sharing here. 
Share to a page. We'll do that. We'll share to a page. Let everybody know that we are live right now. And uh, can you all do the same, guys? Very much appreciated. There we are. We'll share to uh, this one here. This is always a good one. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure, global radio presenter. If you get an invitation to join in a share, guys, please do that. Uh, very much appreciated. And I'll just put it again live now. Live now. There we are. Excellent. Sharing. That's gone off to that page. Right, so a bit of housekeeping we're talking about. Um, set Scotty McClure up as a skill on your Alexa. Store me in your routines so you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure. So there we are. And uh, also remember, we've got the YouTube channel now, and we do a lot of YouTube pop-ups. So make sure you're on checking them out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Very important. The more subscribers we have, then the more we can build a massive show on there as well. So there we go. So we're getting stuff out there across the Internet for you, dinky do. More comments on here. Oh, Alex Robertson, one of our top actors, is watching. Neil O'Gormley, good evening, Sir Scotty. Paul Sefton is watching. Um, I think Boris is doing a great job for Scottish independence, says Tony. Robert T. Kerr, Scotty, good evening. Scotty, hope you have a good week, says Kareem. And you, Kareem. Fantastic. Erica Meyer, what do you think of Prince Harry and his wife moving to Canada? I can see why they've done it, and everybody should have the right to go if you want to, to quit your job. I know it's part of the firm, but I think everybody should have the right. Hi, Scotty, what would you do with the ferries if you built a bridge to Ireland? What did they do with the fourth ferries when they built the fourth road bridge? I can remember as a little boy, we went on a picnic and we were taken out to see the fourth road bridge being constructed in 1963, I think it was. Did it open in 64 or 65 or something like that? In 1963, we were taken out in a summer's evening and we could see them constructing the bridge. The towers were up. And at that time, you went to South Queen's Ferry and you got a little car ferry. Now, I think one of them might even have been a paddler. But there's a little car ferry there. There was the Robert the Bruce, the uh, the Queen Margaret, I think, because Queen Margaret was ferried over from there. The Robert the Bruce, the Queen Margaret. Um, what else did we have for these ferries? I think there was four of them, if I'm right. Maybe God and Stirling will know. But one was the Queen Margaret, one was the Robert the Bruce. There was the Mary Queen of Scots, that's three. And I know up at Dundee, they had the B.L. Nairn, called after, I think, a guy that had been the provost of Dundee, B.L. Nairn. And it was a paddler, I'm pretty sure, and it went across the Tay. So there you go. So the ferries, somebody would buy them and run them. When I was a little boy, I worked on two little ferries had been built to take people up to the Empire Exhibition in Glasgow and um, to view the uh, Queen Elizabeth being built. The Queen Mary had already been launched and to view the Queen Elizabeth being built on the Clyde. And they did evening trips from Gurukh and they were known as the Ashton and the Leven. And they'd been built at Denny's in Dumbarton, and they'd been engined with four-cylinder, 48-horsepower Glenifer diesels. They're lovely little things, a bit slow. And they were on the Danoon run as well. They were on the Milpert run in the summer as well. They were great little boats, the Ashton and the Leven. And the Ashton was sold to a wonderful ferry master in Gurukh called Roy Ritchie. Uh, around 1964, 65, I think. And I was the cabin boy on the Ashton. And the Ashton is still afloat, to my knowledge. She went to be the wire lady and went from North End to Pilling in uh, Lancashire. And then she's now at Doncaster and she does trips 
up and down the river. Uh, what's the river called? Is it the, the spot at Doncaster? And uh, the Ashton is still a floor. And they were built in 1938. Now, that is pretty good going, isn't it? Uh, hi, Scotty. Uh, so that's what you do with the ferries. I'll tell you that. Scotty McLaren, Lord Provost of the Universe, says Robert T. Kerr. Scotty, I've moved to logistics in the car trade. I now move very expensive cars all over the country. The roads and motorways are a disgrace. And Friday, I hit a pothole on the M1 in a brand new, and he names a great big car. Can't quite see it. Um, the government wants to spend money fixing the road structure in the country before investing money in a bridge over the Irish Sea. Well, I was thinking if Ireland were to reunify, who would actually use this bridge? It's a thought. And engineering-wise, you know, we're, we're not dealing with Isambard Kingdom Brunel here. So engineering-wise, you know, would it be possible to actually build it? Or would you be better sucking the water out of the Irish Sea, coffer damming it, suck the water out and build a road across? <coughs> Just a thought, you know? And Because uh, remember, St. Columba came over in a coracle. Now, that's animal skins stretched over a tiny little willow frame. And he would be so sick, the poor cell. And then he got flung up in the beach at Iona. And that was the start of Christianity in Scotland. We love it. So there you go. Flung up in the beach at Iona, the start of Christianity in Scotland. I'm doing more sharing. Come on, guys. Very, very important. Share, share, sharey, share. Share, 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 share. Very, very important. Share to your story. Well, there we are. We can do that as well. Uh, so, yes, that's a very fair point, I have to say. Scotty, I've told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty is a pop-up, says Paul Cruikshanks. Paul, also get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. We have time to play the squeeze box, says Erica Meyer in Australia. I will, Erica. I'll do that for you. Hi, Scotty, says Ben McSwan. Hello, Ben McSwan. Dinky do. Angel Sled and Dinky do. The Beatles, says Ben. Nice to hear people teach anyone anything. Yes, about time. Scotty. Are you live, says Angel Sneddon. Oh, as at the last time I checked, I'll just take my pulse. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm live. Uh, so there you are, wonderful stuff. Gordon Hadley's watching Dinky Doer. Uh, we're doing more shading, by the way. Oh, for goodness sake. We're nearly out of time. Never mind, not to worry, we can always play you the squeeze box. So there you go. Are we ready? Just going to do a quick share here and get this to behave. Oh, share in a group. There we are, share in a group. And I shall share in. Wonderful. Facebook Live. Right, excellent stuff. There we are. So that's going up there. And uh, we shall do that. Who else have we got on here? Uh, Julie Smith, Willie Walker, nice to see you watching. Donald McMillan's watching. Stephen Menzies, how amazing are you? Everybody thanks you, by the way. So there we are. Um, right, just putting that in here. Good. And I'll just put live now here, guys, for you. So we know what's going on. And then you must excuse me because... Um, excellent stuff. Because I'm going to have to just have a wee comfort break here. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing. Yes, don't panic. It's not anything for you to panic about. So there we are. Lots of hearts and thumbs up, guys, please. Sir William Wallace was one. The Sir William Wallace... Brilliant, Stephen. The Robert the Bruce, the um, Mary Queen of Scots, and was the, not the Queen Margaret as well. We're doing the, the fourth ferries, guys. Oh, just have to have a quick mop down because it's so hot in the studio tonight. 
what happened was it was so cold earlier I thought I'd put the heat on and of course it's gone so blooming hot now Stephen Milton dinky do welcome 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 I say I think you were a kid uh, when it's Edinburgh Castle yes I was a kid at Edinburgh Castle and I can remember my father I was just actually trading tweets with the um, General Officer Commanding Scotland. And um, I was just saying my father, who was a wonderful natural teacher, I was a tiny little boy, and we were walking along Princess Street on a summer's day. And it was just coming up to one o'clock. And my father said to me, he said, watch up to the castle for the one o'clock gun. So I looked up at the castle and he said, see the puff of smoke. And we saw the puff of smoke, he went, listen. It just had time to go listen. And there was this almighty bang as the one o'clock gun went off. And he was showing me, he said, that's uh, the difference between the speed of light and the speed of sound. You see the puff of smoke before you hear the bang. So there you are. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, so that was, uh, that was my father's little lesson there. A wonderful lesson in, in physics. Ah, we drink of water there, very, very nice. Excellent. We like that. Shade Scotty, I'm listening. The Queen Margaret, the Robert the Bruce, the Mary Queen of Scots, and the Sir William Wallace. Woo! We got it right, Gordon. Not bad for an old guy there. Now, remember, I expect you to know these things, but you don't expect me to know these things. Now, was one of them a paddler? Was she a paddle vessel? That's what we need to find out, Gordon Sterling. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can everybody share big style? Excellent. So there you go. Uh, El Salvador, Scotty, what's happening? We haven't had you do your first 10 to 1 show. When's that coming? And uh, Scotty should be the Minister for Broadcasting in Scotland. That may well yet happen, you know, Tony Mac. So there you are, especially with everything they're talking about going on at the BBC. Oh, a ferry trip on my mind now. Used to love the big bit at the back open and the cars would come off. Absolutely, Angel Snedden, preferably when the boat had docked. Now, can I tell you that um, this is where I got a taste for show business. In 1969, there was a Siemens strike. And uh, a lot of the um, the mercantile marine were all in dock and not moving. And the Alexander brothers, and I think the wonderful Johnny Beatty, were doing a summer show in Rothsey, right? 1969. So this is, what, 51 years ago, right? And there was I as the cabin boy on a summer's evening, and we went down to Rothsey from Gurukh and picked up uh, the Alexander brothers and, and, and I think Johnny Beatty as well, if I remember. And I thought, wow. And to me, these guys were like mega stars because they'd been on the telly. Fantastic. Uh, ferry trip in my mind. Yes. All these wonderful things. The Danoon, um, Danoon totally changed in 1953 when they brought in what were called the ABC ferries and they were named the Aaron the butte and the cowl and you could put cars on them you could put them down below decks they could pick up at any state of the tide they had a ramp that could come right up or go away down so there we are fantastic stuff and uh, Mary McKnight dinky do lovely to have you with us you're watching Scotty McClure oh it's you Tony hi says Angel Tony Mac that would make you Mr Mac think you're the best at it dinky do Scotty would you ever form your own political party says Sean Gowdy well you know Sean it's interesting because I'm thinking, could Scotland not do with a new party that was pro-independence? So there you are. Deputy Minister, this is fantastic. Will you be on the YouTube stream tomorrow, says Ben McSwan. Very possibly, Ben. Yes, if I am going to do it, we'll do it around 8 o'clock in the evening, I would think. I remember as a young kid going on the Erskine Ferry in my dad's car when the bridge was being built. Now, I can't remember if that, if it was that one 
of the Renfrew Ferry that ended up as a nightclub in Glasgow. Was it not the Renfrew Ferry? Somebody, do tell us which ferry ended up as the nightclub in Glasgow and is it still going? I think it was the Renfrew Ferry. These were chain-driven ferries and if I remember right, the Renfrew one had Kelvin engines in it. There you are, the old Kelvin from Doby's Lone in Glasgow, up near the Coo Caddens. Wonder stuff. We did our own engines in those days. Tremendous. Rocky Raccoon. Fantastic. Steve Wilkie. Lovely to have you all with us and welcome, welcome. Aaron says, Scotty boy. Colin Brown's watching. Tony Mack. Thank you. Angel Snedden. John R. Jackson. Angel Snedden. What are you saying? Gonna put, put it off and take your bonnet off uh, and let the heat escape. You look after yourself better then, please. No one's okay to walk away and come back. It's the nature of it. We're all used to people walking, walking away. Hello, says Barry. Hello. You should have some ice in your water. No, no, it's lovely. Some lime. I do have a lime. Mm. Billy, cheers, says Angel. Scotty, the one o'clock doesn't go. The one o'clock gun. Yes, it does, I think, Stephen. That is where we went. Johnny Beatty, who starred in River City. Yes, yes. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Scotty. Um, wonderful entertainer. The more comments off the internet. Uh, think so. Not fact. I don't know what's going on here. I remember going down to Rothsey from the Bruma Law on a gorgeous sunny day with my late mother. Yes. Wonderful trips. So there you are. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Now, I promised you a tune on the box. So we'll have a quick tune on the box. And then we might take a Skype call before we go. Wonderful. If anybody wants to call, maybe, maybe Pablo will call from Manchester. Wonderful stuff, right. Here's the squeeze box, guys, okay? So you know it's real. <laughs> Just so you know it's real. Tuned on the squeeze box, just saying dinky do. So they're fantastic. Yes, going down to Rossi, we like that. The Waverley was the boat, yes, built in 1947. My old friend put the engines in her. Rankin and Blackmore from the Eagle Foundry in Greenock. And they built the Waverley at A.J. Ingalls. She was to replace the first Waverley, which had been lost at Dunkirk. And uh, they built it at A.J. Ingalls at Point House in uh, governing Glasgow and floated her down the river to Greenock. And then they would run the engines down. They would manufacture all these gorgeous big engines, all the big bolts and the screws and everything for them and uh, counterbalances and the paddle wheels. And they would run them down the uh, the road at uh, Baker Street at Delling Bun there and uh, run them down onto the dock and put them into the Waverley. Fantastic stuff. Isn't that clever? That was your Scottish engineers. Um, I mean, a live feed on the internet. Everyone's very at home. And yes, a tune. Angel, there we are. Did you like the tune? Night, Scotty. God bless. Uh, God bless, Tony. I took a trip in the Waverley in the early 80s up the Holy Loch to see the subs. So there you are. Fantastic. I used to go on the Liberty boats and go and collect the American sailors and bring them over to Guruk. Play a modern song on the old instruments and see what it's like. There was the Renfrew Ferry, Scotty. It's still going strong. The Erskine Ferry was scrapped as soon as it was taken out of service, along with the chains that sailed it. Yes, it was chain drive. And I seem to remember a chain broke. This is during my lifetime. and just started to float off down the road. And um, the Erskine Hospital was there. 
because there'd been a, um, a forest of willow trees which were very good for wooden legs after the First World War. So you, the um, disabled limbless and sailors, um, limbless and ex-servicemen and sailors, etc., were at Erskine and they would come, uh, those one would come and play the fiddle to entertain the queues because there were huge queues. Sometimes the queue was so long it was almost back to, I think, the, the old Campbell Memorial Erskine there and you thought, listen, there's no point and we're not going to get this for, I'll be sitting for hours. Right, so you turned around and you went up past the Red Smiddy and they had a, an aircraft up on a pole. Does anyone remember that at the old uh, RNES Sanderling, which is now Abbotson's Airport, Glasgow Airport? And you um, then went up to the Renfrew Ferry and you tried that straight along the road at Renfrew all the way to the river. And there was the ferry. And if that was queued out, the next one was the Govan Ferry, which could go up and down with the tide. And if that was queued out, you went into Glasgow and over the brig and out the boulevard. <coughs> Did the boat at Clyde Bank ever sail? I know it's a fish and chip place. I don't know, Tony. I couldn't tell you about that. I don't actually know the history of that. But I'm sure there's somebody watching that is. That's the beauty of Scotty McLean's Nightline. If I don't know something... Somebody else will. Oh, that's marvellous, that. Now then, what about this bridge? Anybody want to Skype me and discuss the bridge? You'd be very welcome to do so. Uh, get me on the Skype, scotty.mcclue. We had to abandon the Skype this week on the YouTube because a couple of silly wee guys thought they'd see if they could say something silly. Um, Angel Sen says, when I left Australia, I'd been brought up and programmed by, why don't you get out of here? Well, because I haven't traveled my land yet. Interesting, Angel. So there you go. So much to tell. You should be writing a book. A book, my dear. That's what I say. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. The world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Remember, you can catch me during the week on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. And I would urge you to do that. It's growing beautifully. And uh, lots of sharing on there, of course. Uh, Gary Crossan's watching Dinky Do. Uh, so... A bit of housekeeping, if you can set up Scotty McClue as a skill on Alexa and store me in your routines on Alexa, that would be fantastic. Scotty McClue, Instagram, Scotty McClue 1. TikTok, at Scotty McClue. So we're big on TikTok. Uh, Reddit, I'm on there as Retties, R-E-T-T-E-S. Don't ask. I don't really know how that came about. And... Um, Facebook, of course, several pages. There's a Scotty McClue page, facebook.com forward slash Scotty McClue. Uh, or Scotty, is it Scotty.McClue? I need to check that. Sure, you're enjoying that. Gin and tonics is Steve Milken. Uh, Davy Young, long time no see, Scotty. Dinky do, Davy. Lovely to have you with us. About time, Davy. Late for the class. Fantastic. So uh, the Facebook pages, there's several of them. Look them up and uh, like the pages, please. I know you get uh, bombarded with stuff from Scotty McClue. Thank you for putting up with it and just go with the flow because although you may have seen it, other people might not. So there we are. Dinky do say hi to Mrs. Mac. It's a birthday. Still looking amazing for her age. Wonderful. And um, also Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Now, we haven't really gone massive on that yet. That's uh, a little delight still to come for your education and edification. Remember on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, there's over six hundred pieces of video and audio for your information, education, edification, and delight. Matthew says, hello, Scotty. Hello, Matthew. Dinky do. The wonderful angel Snedden sends a couple of hearts. We appreciate that. Thank you for that, angel. That is absolutely massive. Um, now, I'm just checking the time here. A few more minutes, and then I will probably have to push 
off. Uh, can you say hi to Mrs. Mack? It's a birthday. She's amazing for her age. <laughs> I love that. I've just said that, haven't I? Wonderful. So there we go. The pop-ups. When's the best time for you for a pop-up, guys? Do give me a bit of feedback there and let me know what's what. And... Um, Come on here, Gordon Roddick, I would love to hear you on the Skype and so would the nation if you're up for it at any time because you've got some lovely, lovely tales to tell. The wonderful Gordon Roddick with Scottish television from, I think, 1957, was that right? And you can't, you can't be old enough for that. So there we are. But it'd be lovely to have you in the Skype, Scotty Dr. McClure, if you've got Skype. Well, Scotty, uh, I had things bugging me like people, uh, you know, keep me sane. And Davy takes the spot out of Mrs. Mac. Happy birthday, Mrs. Mac, says Angel. Thank you, Angel. You should get on the Skype at some point as well, Angel. So what's been happening, Scotty? 7 p.m.'s best for me, says Davy. So there you are. What a pop-up, 7 p.m. Facebook Live. We once did one at 5 to 6 on a holiday weekend when you would have thought everybody was just leaving to go on holiday. And it was massive. The figures just went bananas through the roof. Uh, the boat in Clyde Bank was built in Campbelltown and did sail to Clyde Bank. Who's telling me this? Fantastic. Peter Conley. Wow, so she built at the, the Campbellton shipyard, was she? Um, why'd you have to go? We could talk all night. I better say good night before I'm in more trouble with Mrs. Mac. Night, night, night. Night, 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 Tony Mac. Off you go. Talk forever, says Angel. Fantastic. <laughs> You're very, very kind. You're lovely, lovely people. But do keep sharing. Night, Scotty, says Barry Nickel. Good night, Barry. Dinky doo, thanks for joining us. And we'll catch up at some point. Fabulous exchange of information. Gordon Sterling would love to talk to you on the Skype at some point as well. Mm. That would be another massive Skype, I see. There's the wonderful Alistair King has just joined us, one of Scotland's top motor engineers. Tremendous. Trying to get a blog and write. So I would, Tony. Somebody was telling me this week about podcasting. They thought they'd like a Scotty McClue podcast. I've missed most of the show, says Alistair King. Alistair, don't give it a thought because... Um, it will be popping up on Facebook and you'll be able to hear it. And we might do a couple of, do you like the watch parties during the week? Love you, Scotty. Night, night, Angel. You take care of yourself. And uh, Angel can talk the hind legs off a donkey, says Davy. Thank God you have a drink. Only time I breathe, says Angel. Can you contact my agent, says Gordon Stilling. Yes, we'll get your agent. And your agent will consist of phoning you. Nicola Tom says, hi from Musselbra. Hi, Nicola Dinky Do. I hope the fourth snow up at your door the night. Alistair King is a brilliant friend of mine, says Craig Walker. Wonderful, Craig. I am delighted to hear it. He has been extremely kind to me with information on vehicles. Gin and tonic again. No, no. It's water. It's Adam's Ale. So there you go. Fantastic. Um, do share. Let's have another share point, guys. I haven't shared for some time. Just let everybody know we're live. Great show. Worth pulling into Elven Foot to listen to. You love the old fairy stuff. Going to head now on to the M74. Good night, Stephen. Stephen, God bless you and a very, very safe journey up that 74 because just as you get to the brow of the hill there, the wind will catch. Um, or think it's, what was that? I don't know what that is. I'll be in touch sometime this week, Scotty. Absolutely, Alistair, just whenever suits you and anything you need me to get sorted. Uh, if you need me to get the battery charged or whatever. Uh, can I blast my poems page someday? Yes, Davy. As long as they are polite and appropriate, you can indeed. Craig Downey says, hi, Scotty. Hi, Craig. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue, and from everybody else throughout the world. We've got people on from Canada, America. We got a call from Washington last week. Uh, Alan Brown, in fact, who phoned from Washington, is watching right now. He's just appeared. We must be septic. Lots of brains needed. Whisht, 
to think, oh, you need a bit of whisht. You need whisht to think. <laughs> I can't think. What was it? There was some lovely drama. And um, I'm so glad to get back to London. You can't think in the country. I think that was a line from it. But I can't remember what it was. Uh, television drama. So glad to get back to London. You're just a blather, says Angel. Thank you, Angel. That's extremely kind of you. So there you go. Scotty, let's go until midnight, says Stephen. Oh, for goodness sake, Stephen. No, wheesh. Charge it up and get some fresh fuel in a can, right? We shall sort that for you. And uh, Neil, Neil Holgate, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Yes, I went to London when... When... She's leaving it at that. We'll just leave it at that. Then you went to London. Very good. I actually used to live in London. And I lived um I lived in with my girlfriend in Queensgate, which backed on to where Winston Churchill lived, though he'd gone by then. He was Hyde Park Gate, I think. And we're just round the corner from the Albert Hall. And my head said bigger things out there for all of us. And it was only years later, I think I realised just what a very, very, very valuable piece of property that would have been, you know. We were just renting, of course. Um, but uh, incredible. So there you are. Imagine uh, in 1980, I lived in Queensgate in London. 81, I think it was, something like that. Um, here tonight, love your drama. Can't stay away in Washington. So there we are. Um, Alan, I'll tell you, if you are uh, got a moment, do Skype and let us know how you are. Scotty Dot McClue. We're always uh, delighted to hear from you. So there we are. There's Alan over in Washington, D.C., watching our live stream. Scotty, I was just thinking, I was back in my home park, um, and I went to Leavengrove Park, home park in Dumbarton, and I went to Leavengrove Park. It's a stunning park. I remember in primary three, the school took us down there to see the QE2, the day she was, was that launched? Down there to see the queue, the day she was, see more, hang on. The day she was, the day she was launched. Yes, it is a lovely park. Is that the one with the elephant and the gates? Uh, and it walks right along the prom. It goes from Sand Point um, right along to the old Keel School. There we are. That was a school. I was uh, going to go to Keel School in Dumbarton. I remember that. And my uncle went to Keel School. Both my uncles went to Keel School. My uncle Bill and my uncle John went to Keel School in Dumbarton. And Keel School had moved from South End in Campbelltown. It was started by, um, was it William McKinnon? And William McKinnon was something huge. I think it might have been British India Steamboat um, Company or something like that. And uh, of course, very, very wealthy ship owners. And um, he had donated money to Keel House at South End. And it went on fire. Can't remember when it went on fire. I wonder it was around 1915. And you could look over the uh, you can you can look over the wall in South End and see the port Corsair, the portico, the old um, pillared port for Keel House. Um, but uh, that's where the school was. And then it moved to um, it moved to Helensley House in Dumbarton. So you would just go up the road there, and there you would see the old Keel School, and you can see it. I'm not sure if it's still standing. I think it is. I think the house is probably, um, uh, it might even be ruined now. I can't remember, or maybe it's been done up. But that was the old Keel School. And Helen's Lee, it was the house of Denny's, the shipbuilders, who built all the Clyde steamers and bigger stuff as well, you know. But uh, Helen Denny... Uh, would have been the one, and Helen's Lee and the Denny brothers had that huge big mansion. And their shipyard, of course, was just along the road. You just, you just walked to it. They probably walked to it in the morning. And of course, in Dumbarton to this day, you've got a statue of, is it William Denny in the town there? And, um, you've got the Denny Theatre in Dumbarton. So there you go. What about that, Peter Connolly? I hate London. They're so rude. 
as New York, says Stephen Milton. See Winston's house. Nice house. Well, David Young, are you thinking, when you say Winston's house, are you thinking of Blenheim Palace, where Winston was born? This was Hyde Park Gate, uh, his London residence, where he died. I forgot all about you, Scotty boy, says Raymond McGrath. Don't worry. What a sight for sore eyes. Uh, we'll tell ye after. Take care. It's hot mind, the bunnet company built the idea that sells them. What are you on about, Angel? So they, I might get a rave hat made yet, light you up in the dark so we don't lose you in a crowd. Brian McCarran's watching. Wonderful Brian McCarran, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, what an excellent stream tonight, guys. What is the time actually saying? I have the Skype. I could take a Skype call. Well, it's 25 past 10. It's time I wasn't here. It's been lovely being with you tonight. Scotty, we ever return to the radio and do phone-ins again? As might get my story finished about me and the kids falling out. Oh, well, that's right, Davy. yes. Well, who knows? <coughs> this is a very, very exciting year for Scotty McClure. And we were on the radio until about a couple of months ago when they decided to play love songs. And, um, you know, we'll see how that works out. And um, I can probably go back on the radio at any time. It's just a question of contacting the right people. But I've worked for so many wonderful stations now. You know, it's difficult to improve on perfection. That's the thing. You know, I've worked for so many great stations. Really now, I think Scotty McClure should be national on the BBC or international on satellite, or we just build things up here live on Facebook Live and uh, on YouTube and on Twitch and all that and build it up digitally, up to yourselves. Uh, Colin Rogers watching, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. Did you ever say, let's have a looky at the clocky? On air, yes, I did on Grampian Television in Aberdeen in 1984. It was closed down, and I said in my best Aberdonian, well, now, that's it for the night, and we'll hey a looky at the clocky. Uh, you know, and it'll say, it should, I should have said, we'll just have a look at the clock. There you are with the time coming up to 12.45. That's the end of our programmes for tonight. Good night, all. And sleep well. That sort of stuff. So there you are. That's what I should have said. But I said, we'll just have a look at the clocky. Eh? And it got a letter sent in to the boss. Does Mr. Personality think that there are any children watching at that time of night who might be amused by him? <sighs> Imagine it. Woo! Milk for the pussycat. Scotty, I remember when you were Scotty FM had finished work and won there, listen at night time. <laughs> I wouldn't do that now. Uh, get your own going, Scotty McClure FM afternoon talk show. Brilliant, Scott, is this Tony. Build the internet, load it, and get it around their ears. Absolutely, get it around you, I see. Right, thumbs up, please. More hearts. Tap, 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 tap. I'm going to have to push off. Shall I sing you the goodbye song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain, au revoir, and a cheery o. So there you are. Ha <laughs> ha! Get a brandy down, you Scotty. I don't drink angel. Goodbye, oh. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks very much for joining us. We hope to catch you either during the week or next Sunday, perhaps around the same time, just after nine o'clock or maybe even nine o'clock sharp. Who knows? But I'll try and give you some warning so that you can be there or be square. Until then, this is Scott O'Clue saying to every single one of you, good night, God bless, dinky do, and ta-ra, Scotty McClure has left the building. <laughs>